This is Sean again. Uh, we are going to work on today is Dell Optiplex 390. Uh, Dell Optiplex 390. We're going to install a hard drive in it and I'm going to go step by step how to do it and uh, we'll install window 10. Uh, so it will be a latest one. So we're going to go step by step. Let me start the computer and let me show you what is this computer has. And so I'm going to turn the computer on, uh, press F2 to go to the BIOS and we'll go into the BIOS and when you're in the BIOS you click uh, this right here says De Dell Optiplex 390. So the BIOS you got to go to the system uh, information and it will tell you it has 4 GB. Um, RAM and it's Intel i3-2120 CPU 3.3 so this is what it got so and if you scroll down it will tell you SATA no hard drive then it has a CD-ROM and then nothing there nothing there so we're gonna turn it off and uh, we're gonna install a hard drive so let me move or turn this off now and move the camera down to show you step by step how to do it. So alright, here we go. Move the camera down right here. Alright, this is pretty. Alright, come on. Alright, here you go. All right, so first thing first, uh, you need to unplug the computer. This is uh, very important because I have a bad experience. All right, this, will, this is where the hard drive goes. So you click to the left and take the caddy out. You take the caddy out, uh, I'm gonna install 250 GB hard drive it's a regular hard drive so you put that in like this make sure all four um, clips are in so you gotta be careful because it's plastic sometimes it do break so alright it's in so you put the uh, one side in first and that's how it set it up okay that's done no oh so I totally forgot I need to put the power in so uh, there's a SATA um, data um, cable and this is the power cable so these two are in and here you go it's all set now you put the uh, side panel back into the system. All right, that's what it is. Now, next thing is you plug in the power. All right, now I'm gonna move the camera toward the screen. That way you can see what am I doing. So, I have a uh, window 10 install in the USB so that's what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna show you in one of my videos how to uh, make a USB bootable drive so I plug that in so first I'm gonna show you where you see that hard drive is so turn the computer on and press F2 to go to the BIOS and you are in the BIOS you're in the BIOS and now go to the system and scroll down and you see there is a 250 GB hard drive all right now you exit it out and press F12 keep pressing F12 to get to the boot menu and boot menu that where you see the USB um, drive to 
upload operating system. So you see the first one is the hard drive, the second one is the USB. So you click down, you press enter, and it's gonna take about uh, a few seconds and it will show you um, what next step you need to do. So just a few seconds, it will not be that long. Done there. So we're almost there. There you go. This window logo shows up. Now it's uh will be a blue screen and then you go from there step by step. There you go. Alright, now pick up the language and uh, time format. US, click next, install. All right, DLA, there's a digital license activation. Press next, uh, accept the license term, yes. Brand new installation, yes. If you have, if you see old uh, files in partition there, you just delete it up. So that way you are fresh, freshly installing this uh, operating system. Now you all set. It's 232. It's 250 because it's Windows gonna take the rest of it uh, for 18 GB or something for it uh, to run to. The operating system so that's why you're seeing 232 so press next and uh, that will start the downloading so it's gonna take about 30 minutes um, so I'm gonna be right back so stay tuned okay uh, so we are back um, let's start the region is United States we're gonna press yes then next step it's gonna ask the language oh, sorry the keyboard the keyboard layout is US so if you're in a different country you can pick your keyboard if you have another layout of the keyboard you can pick that and well, we're gonna skip it because this, uh, we're in US the next step is the Wi-Fi so I put in a Wi-Fi card so we're gonna Pick that, connect. So, we're gonna put um, the password in and it's gonna connect. Alright, it's connected. Next step is press next. So now it's going to take a few minutes, I think uh, a few seconds and then it will ask you uh, a few more questions. Uh, what you want to name this computer and then it's going to ask you the password and um, go really quick about this. there all right so are you gonna use this computer as a personal computer or the business we're gonna use it as a personal computer so we'll press next Right, uh, the login here. So, uh, so the, 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 if you have a Outlook or a, a Hotmail account, you can put that in there. But I rather not to, so I stay offline account. And I'm gonna 
click on uh, next, uh, limited experience. That's gonna ask you what's the name, what name you wanna give to your PC. I'll, and then it will ask you the password. Put in the password, and then a couple more step, and then it will take you. This is a privacy setting, uh, so if you want your location not to be shown and all the other uh, diagnostic data and the advertising IDs, okay. I mean, I I say yes, accept it, because uh, yes. accept that. We're gonna go to the next. And then Cortina um, help. Uh, it's pretty good, so you press accept. Now it's gonna take about two, three minutes. Um, I'm gonna pause it and uh, be right back, and then we'll end up this uh, the whole Windows 10 installation. And I'll tell you what uh, what uh, uh, we need to do to update the Microsoft Window. Right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, so back at this now. All right. So what are you gonna do? Is um, let me show you. It has a i3 processor and 4 GB RAM. So and then. On the toolbar, you type in updates window. So check the update. So it's gonna come up and is check for update. So it's gonna take a few seconds, and we'll show you all the updates that uh, window 10 because. Uh, you know, since it came out every other month, they have uh, some updates. So we'll tell you um, the update. So it takes a few minutes. Won't take that long to show you the update. It's almost there. should show up now all right there it is so you see all the updates are there it takes about 30 minutes you leave your computer running it automatically uh, updates all your software and then it will ask you to sh restart your computer to have everything settled so that's all there is if you have any question uh, please ask in the comment section and please sus subscribe and click the like button that way other people can get some help from uh, from this computer thank you have a good day